Welcome to AG's Ace. The recent death of playback singer, well-known playback singer KK, it triggered a lot of response. It triggered a lot of coverage in the social media. It raised many questions. First of all, was it an unnatural death? Now it has more or less been confirmed that uh, it wasn't an unnatural death, but the organizers are still being blamed and those issues are being raised about why he was forced to perform on two back-to-back -back shows at the same venue which was packed to the rafters, 2,500 uh, persons capacity. It had close to four or five times more uh, the number of people. There was heat, there was humidity, he was feeling unwell, there was no medical backup. All of that is now out in the public domain. My point is different here. I have closely seen that celebrity deaths, they always trigger a lot of debate in uh, the public view. There are a lot of opinions being formed. There are certain cases which are controversial cases which when they happened, it triggered uh, a lot of heat and there was widespread coverage. So what were the reasons behind it? Could it be that it is due to professional reasons? Someone has had a truncated professional life, financial problems, disappointment in love, depression, which seems to be pretty rampant uh, among celebrities because of various factors. Uh, it could be other reasons too. But the point is that they do generate a lot of controversy. Now let's go through a couple of names uh, that uh, I have on my list. First is of course Sushant Singh Rajput. Now that happened 14 June 2020, just two years ago. And we all remember the, the kind of massive debate it triggered that here is a boy from Patna who comes from a different social background, who fights for his place in Bombay, in Mumbai, in Bollywood, and then how badly it all ends up. There were reasons uh, to be discussed about him. Uh, quite a few people said, and some of his closest friends also said that he was disappointed in the way some of his latest films were being made and, and not properly released. There was a lobby that was against him. Some uh, uh, of uh, the star producers uh, didn't like him on uh, Karan Johar's show uh, slight uh, uh, certain digs were made against him so it, it was as if Sushant Singh Rajput uh, did not really fit in to where he wanted to go and that may have triggered quite a few impulses within then the modality of his death uh, it, it was uh, said to be hanging but was it a suicide? Was it an alleged murder? Who were the people involved? So that debate raged and raged and quite a few people were picked up. Then the drug bust happened. Was he consuming drugs? Who was with him that night? Then his then girlfriend, she was Riya Chakravarti. She was badly roasted, grilled, hounded and then nothing came out of it. It is still being seen as a case of suicide which with certain factors that went against Sushant Singh Rajput. Maybe he was a victim of depression, maybe he was going through a very low phase, but that is where the case stands. If you remember Jia Khan, she did a movie with Mr. Bachchan and uh, it was sort of a remake of Lolita. And she hung herself when she was barely 25 years of age in a Juhu house. She was then dating uh, Suraj Pacholi, actor Aditya Pacholi's son. A lot was then said about Suraj Pacholi. Jia Khan's mother said that uh, they were in a relationship and that uh, he wasn't treating her too well. He, of course, defended him. His friends in the industry like Salman Khan stood up for him. And they said that that was not the case. And uh, where Jia herself is concerned, there were rumors that she was uh, suffering from depression, loneliness. Again, there were professional reasons behind too. And uh, she was not getting enough work. But there were certain indications that Suraj Pacholi may have harassed her. Uh, that case was reopened. He suffered a lot also, uh, probably stymied his uh, movie career. But again, the case lies dormant. It has been more or less uh, been stamped as a case of suicide. So Jia Khan goes uh, and uh, that's the way it is. Sri Devi, a very famous uh, Bollywood actress, and she was found uh, dead in a hotel room in the bathroom. She passed away in Dubai on 24th February 2018. She was found in a tub. They said that it was cardiac arrest and uh, in a, she was uh, relaxing in a, in a tub. So there were quite a few questions were raised that how can a, an adult like that die of a cardiac arrest in a tub of water? 
Uh, was that the reason? Did something else trigger it? Did she take any drugs? So there were a lot of rumors around it. Her husband, Boni Kapoor, tried to clarify the entire situation, uh, denied most of the allegations. But there was a bit of a stink around her death. And uh, people always want to know what may have been the exact reasons. And those reasons may not always come out. Moving on to Nafisa Joseph, another famous model. She also uh, passed away, hung herself at the age of 26 on 29 July 2004. And in Nafisa's case, her friends have gone on record to say that, which was reported in the media then, that she was, she may have been suffering from uh, alleged depression. She was engaged to actor Samir Soni for two years and that relationship broke up. Samir Soni moved on. And uh, she was seeing another businessman uh, who possibly hid the fact that he was married. But that was something personal between Nafisa and her. And at a pretty young age of only 26 years old, she hung herself. And quite a few of her friends, uh, they, uh, from the film industry, they came out and they said they, they couldn't believe the fact that someone like Nafisa, who was intelligent, who was good looking, who was a famous model, an aspiring actress, well trained, would do something like this. Divya Bharti, for that you have to go back in time. Uh, a couple of films with Shah Rukh Khan at that point in time, she was seen as one of the hottest emerging actresses, uh, uh, not only good looking but tremendously talented. She was married to film producer Sajid Nadia Adwala and she fell off the balcony of the apartment that she was staying, which was uh, a high rise. How did she fall? Why did she fall? Who compelled her to fall? Was she pushed? These were all the kind of questions that came up then and it became a very heavily publicized case. Um, again, it is more or less seen uh, now as a case of suicide. Actress Silk Smita from uh, the southern film industry made a huge name for herself. Vidya Balan did a uh, biopic on her, which was also successful. At 36, she uh, was found dead in her uh, home. It was again seen as a case of suicide, but she was known as the Marilyn Monroe of uh, cinema, Indian cinema. And uh, one of the reasons why uh, is very clear that Marilyn Monroe also died under suspicious circumstances. Uh, did she commit suicide? Was she compelled to? Uh, because she was entangled with quite a few of the uh, wrong set of people, including politicians, the mafia, and uh, some of that swish set, which may have triggered a couple of factors. Not uh, everything is again known. So, Silk Smita's case, it is branded as a mysterious death. So, when uh, the cops are unable to crack something, so it becomes mysterious. And it's again been more or less branded as a case of suicide. And the last name on my list is Viveka Babaji, a pretty well-known uh, model, a supermodel, who hung herself, unfortunately, at the age of 37 in her apartment in Mumbai. So they said that she was, at that point in time, seeing this uh, gentleman called Gautam Vora, who was a financial stockbroker, a well-to-do man, also a socialite, and uh, things weren't going right for her. They used to have frequent fights. This was all out in the social media. At that point in time, it came out, it was reported in the press, Gautam Bora, of course, denied everything and said that she was just another friend. So this friend word is used very liberally among the celebs when things do not go right. But some of the other reasons could be business failure. She was uh, promoting her entertainment uh, firm. It wasn't doing well, so she was under a lot of stress. She was going through broken relationships. And some of her friends said that before, uh, the, before she killed herself, she smashed everything in her house, possibly as a sign that I'm leaving and I don't want any remnant of my beautiful house to stay. All these are very unfortunate uh, anecdotes as part of this list. But the end result is that whenever these celebrity deaths occur, there is massive public interest, there is reportage, there is the social media now. The press has to report it too. Cops have their own angle. The doctors then try and clarify the situation. But uh, when it is a case of unnatural death, there could be certain triggers that they were compelled, pushed, whatever you may want to add. But what is uh, the actual truth, by and large, in most cases, it remains hidden. So they are buried under this, the big plank of suicide, and they call it a mysterious death, and that's how it is. Thanks for watching, AGZ's.